Hey again guys. So I got some exciting news. This morning uh, we started working on a iPhone um, for data recovery. Uh, we do data recovery here and this one's interesting. Uh, this one was dropped in a lake and so we had to go through some surgery on it here. You see we've replaced the screen because the screen wasn't working. Um, however, we're still not getting backlight. It ends up being an internal short on the backlight uh, or internal damage on the board. So we weren't able to get the backlight working. Um, but we found out a way to be able to recover your data or back up your data uh, without having to work completely work an iPhone. And in this, in this instance as well, there's no touch on the screen. And as you know, if you're trying to back up your data onto your um, computer, you need to be able to have touch so that you can either enter in your passcode or your password, or you can just click simply click the button that says trust this computer. Uh, so we were having issues with that, but we came across a really nice find. Uh, it's a Thunderbolt, or actually, sorry, Lightning keyboard. And so what you do, there, if you plug this into your phone, uh, you can actually then access, uh, this is like a $40 part on Amazon. You plug it into your, your phone, and then you can move around on the screen after you enable voiceover. So let me just show you the process of doing this. Uh, and we've already got some things done, but I'm gonna give you the, the walkthrough of, of how to do this so that you can get your data backed up onto your computer if you have a, a phone uh, that has no touch function. So anyways, first off, what you do, uh, we also had to put a new dock on here because the microphone wasn't working. So we have a, just a dock plugged in so that we can use the microphone. And the reason for that is because you want to enable voiceover. So all you're gonna do is hold down the power or the, the home button and say, turn voiceover on, which it's already on on this phone. So we turn voiceover on, and then you plug in your uh, your lightning uh, keyboard into the dock. And then you scroll through, you can actually scroll through and choose your, um, go, to, go to settings. And so you go to settings, then you go to Bluetooth. You also need a Bluetooth keyboard to do this. You go to Bluetooth and you then connect your phone to a Bluetooth keyboard. The reason for that is because when you're backing up your computer, or your phone, when you're backing up your data to your computer, uh, you, want, you don't want to have your keyboard plugged in to the lightning port. You have to have your USB cable plugged in. So I'm going to show you on my computer what happens. I have, we've done it on another computer, but so we've already backed up this data, but I wanted to show you guys. So let's go over here. Here's iTunes. So you see I plug in the phone and what comes up it says do you want to allow this computer to access information on this phone, uh, iPhone so we click continue so to allow access please respond on your iPhone now that we have our Bluetooth keyboard plugged in we can then uh, you also this one doesn't have backlight so I have to shine uh, this on here so I can see the backlight. So we want to enable that we want to trust this uh, computer. All right, so it says trust this computer. I scroll over with the right arrow until we get to trust, and then you're going to press the up and down arrow. So I, I scrolled over. You can scroll over and choose your option to trust by pressing the over button and then to select, you press the up and down arrows at the same time. So I'm gonna do that now, and you'll see on the screen, it will allow access. There it goes. So now it's allowing access to the phone, and we should be able to back up the data. So here we are, uh, new f software uh, is available. Uh, we don't want to do that right yet. Uh, here we are, and we want to back up the phone. So we're going to click on Backup Now, and we don't want to encrypt it. So, so we're going to go ahead and back this up, and it's going to back up our data. Um, there's no need to have the touch fu touch function working on the phone, uh, which is some pretty cool stuff. I mean, before we thought that we'd have to do this, but now we're, we're through this procedure, we're able to uh, back up the data, save your data, um, without having the touch function available. 
So um, this might help you guys out if uh, you don't have the touch function working on your phone. Uh, if you have liquid damage and you just wanted to back up your data before you get a new phone, and this method works really well. Um, if you have any questions about this, if I didn't make anything clear, please let us know in the comments. I'd love to help you out. Um, yeah, anything you uh, need to know, just uh, let us know. And uh, please subscribe for more videos coming out soon. And give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks. Hope you have a great day.